Why specifically should you consider hiring the tax law offices of David W. Clausing to represent you in an IRS, Franchise Tax Board, State Board of Equalization, or EDD audit? Well, um, very few professionals in the country have my education to begin with. 1.2 million attorneys in the country, 480,000 CPAs, only 24,000 like professionals in the country or both, both an attorney and a CPA simultaneously. Add a master's degree in taxation into that mix, you're down to about 3,000 like professionals. I'm estimating this, all right? One of the biggest concerns I get from my clients before they hire me, I get this question a lot. Dave, I really want to hire you, but I'm afraid that if I hire you, it's going to send a signal to the government that I've lawyered up. And matter of fact, if they really look at your website like I have, they're going to realize that you do criminal tax defense. And that's going to send a signal to the government that I've lawyered up and I've lawyered up with a criminal tax defense attorney. Well, let me tell you what I tell my clients is, first of all, only about 30% of what I do is criminal in nature that leaves 70% of the representation I work is straight civil. I always keep the government guessing. They do not know whether I've got an underlying criminal issue in that case or whether I'm just dealing with a straight civil issue. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do is allow you to admit it. The last thing I'm going to do is admit it. If they see fraud, I don't want to hand them the nails to put in your coffin. Right? Um, oftentimes I think they see fraud, they know fraud when they see it but it's one thing for them to see fraud, it's quite another for them to come at you with a civil fraud penalty, which is 75% addition to tax. So if they are after you for 100,000 of tax liability, you're looking at $175,000 rather than just 100,000 or jail time. I tell my clients that optimally, the best result I can possibly get you in an audit is what's called a no change. The government comes in, audits you, they don't have any proposed changes, they accept the return is filed. That is extremely rare. I've only had that happen twice in my career since I started my practice, and both of those were turns that I prepared. Audits are stressful. Even with the best representative in the world, audits are arduous, stressful. They're an intimidating process that ultimately lead to additional tax liability being assessed, compounded by penalties and interest by the taxing authorities. Why not go through that process with somebody who's been through it multiple times that can help you with the stress, that can give you peace of mind that you're gonna get the best result possible in that situation. The absolute worst case scenario in audit is the audit can result to a handoff to the Criminal Investigation Division for criminal prosecution. Why not do everything in your power to minimize that possibility even if you don't believe that there's a reasonable possibility they could assess that? Why not put an insurance policy in place, just to be sure? Perhaps the most compelling reason to hire the tax law offices of David W. Clausing to take you through an audit is that the taxing authorities themselves have access to a plethora of CPAs and attorneys that work for them. Why not give yourself the same advantage? Why not hire somebody that's a CPA and attorney simultaneously with a master's degree in tax and 20 years of experience to give yourself the edge in an audit? If there's lots of money at stake, there's potentially lots of tax liability at stake, uh, the cost of hiring an attorney can be minuscule compared to the damage caused by the audit. If the taxing authorities have access to CPAs and attorneys, why would you not avail yourself of the same advantage? I'm a tax attorney and a CPA with a master's in tax. I have over 20 years of experience. I've fought lots of battles with the IRS, the Franchise Tax Board, the EDD, the Board of Equalization and my clients fare about as well as they possibly can in those situations. I have a long track record of good results and audits, and you don't have to just trust me. Look at the testimonials on my website. These are my clients talking to you. I do not write those things my clients do. I've assisted literally hundreds, thousands of individuals and businesses through audits over my career. I have a proven track record of obtaining the optimal results possible based on each client's specific facts and circumstances. In an effort to bring myself to the cutting edge of the profession and have the tools available to me to get the best results for my clients and audits, I recently chaired the California State Bar Tax Procedure and Litigation Committee. I've also chaired the Orange County Bar Tax Section. 
Uh, I recently was the education chair for the American Association of Attorney CPAs. I've been a member at large of the California CPA Committee on Taxation. I am constantly attending ed educational events. I'm constantly publicly speaking. I'm constantly writing. I eat, breathe, and live tax. I absolutely love what I do, and I'd love the opportunity to help you. I am much more educated than any professional standard laid out there for a CPA or an attorney. I have strived in my career to stay on the cutting edge of tax. I want to be viewed as an attorney's attorney, a CPA's CPA, and I've worked very hard to do that. Okay, I've done that through my volunteer work and my education and my experience. In an effort to stay current, uh, I participate in lots of online forums of CPAs, tax attorneys, uh, business attorneys, estate planning attorneys. Uh, I constantly answer questions on ABO. I'm doing all this to be the very best practitioner I can be. So, in summary, the reason you want to hire myself, David W. Clossing, bottom line here is you would be hard pressed to find a more experienced, educated, or qualified representative to represent you in an audit, an appeal following an audit, or ultimately in litigation over an audit. Thank you for the opportunity of earning your business.